stone, his leg was removed, and the other is scattered. But here, it was of a blessing to the household of Obededo because the Lord paid him a visit. There will always be a way in difficult situations. When he comes, he comes with good news to tell you where man thinks there is no way. There will be a way in it. As he visited Zechariah, oh, Zechariah answered him. In verse 18, he said, And Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. I am old man. My wife also is advanced in years. So, it is recorded concerning us that there is nothing again. That look, the hand has come to this situation. There is nothing we can do about it. But when the Lord decided to fix it, when God decided to visit a man, it makes way, even when men thinks there is no way. He said to him, look, it is not of you to do it, but God has decided to visit you and he will make way where it seems to be no way. The Lord reversed the irreversible. When he visits, when he decided to visit an individual, he reversed the irreversible. We see also in Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 to 15. Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 to 15. How the Lord decided to visit Abraham. And he said to him, oh, he perceived them when they were going and said, these people are not ordinary. He called them, asked his wife to prepare men for them. They treated those people well. They said, look, by this time next year, we are coming to celebrate with you. You are going to give back. Your wife will give back to a son. The wife started laughing. I said, oh, these people don't know what they are doing. They have eaten. And they, they, didn't, they couldn't receive it well again. You don't see the man you are talking to, you look at me, and you think that anything will come out of us. But things of joy as later came from them. Because the Lord has decided to visit them. The womb that is named Baren was open, and she was able to conceive again, even at the old age. When the Lord visits, there will be a blessing and increase. When the Lord decided to visit someone, when there is a divine visitation, Blessing and increase comes with it. In Psalm 65, verse 9, it says, Thou visited the heart and water it, thou greatly enrich it with river of God, which is full of water, thou prepares them corn when thou hast provided it. The Lord decided to visit them. When the Lord visited the heart, he watered it. He make an increase to come upon it. When the Lord visits a home, he decree his blessing upon them. When the Lord visits an individual, he brings increase to his business, to his life. When there is divine visitation, there will be a transformation of life. He brings increase when he decided to visit an individual. How does the Lord come when he wants to visit? With numerous things we have seen in the scripture, I just want to point your attention to three. He comes in the forms of angel. He might pass a message to you. You think that, oh, it is just a natural thing. But later you discover that the person you are talking to is not even a uh, a, a, a woman being which you can see with your natural uh, face or which you can touch. It comes in forms of angel, as we see in the story of uh, Zechariah today. The Lord visits in form of man. 
when you want to visit someone, he comes in form of man. He might just put your body in the heart of an individual. Things you have been asking him for. Things you have been beckoned unto him to do for you. You place your body in the heart of an individual who will just come to come and rescue you. Who will come to come and do that things which you have been asking God for. That is why it is very dangerous to underestimate anybody. Because God can use the people you think he cannot use. God can make use of the worst person which you have ever known. God can do anything to make sure that he may fulfill his purpose. So the Lord comes in form of man to visit an individual. He visits also through his word. Psalm 107 verse 20 said he sent his word. And he of them delivered them from all their troubles. He visits in form of his word. Sometimes it is not a man that will come. Sometimes it is not an angel you are going to see. It is just by preaching that he was going to communicate to you and tell you the exact thing which you have been asking from him. So the Lord's visitation can come in form of words. He can finally visit you through the message that comes from his altar. He can divinely visit you through the message that comes from the studies of his word. So, when the Lord decided to visit, he chose the techniques that most please to him. But, if we check the people which we have seen today, which the Lord has visited, we discover one thing in their life, that most of them are hospitable. Most of these people are friendly, most of them are well accommodating. Sometimes our visitation can be delayed because of the way or our disposition to other people. If it is about tribe, and God does not use your tribe to bless you. If it is about religion, and God decided to use somebody who, who can never think it can be of help to do it. You use your own hand to chase them away. If we're to be by the face and by the way people are doing, Abraham supposed not to have entertained those people. They are strangers. Strangers. He never knew them from anywhere. But when he saw people, he said, These people are people of God. They are not just ordinary. He was able to discern them and call them into his house. He entertained them and they gave him the word of joy, which was later fulfilled at the exact time in his life. So when the Lord decided to visit, this is what he does. When he visits you, he reverses the irreversible. When he visits you, it makes a way in a difficult situation. When it visits you, it changes destiny. And when the Lord visits, it changes destiny. You can also see that in John chapter 5, verse 1 to 15. This man who has been at the pool for many years, without any help, the angels come once in a year and scatter the water so that the first person who enters into heat will be healed. But the day the Lord decided to visit him, it is not in form of angels. It is the word of God himself, in form of man that came to the pool and asked him, what do you, do you want to be made whole? He said, oh, I don't have anybody. Who will help me? I, the angels, when he comes, another person will have entered. There's no help anywhere. Do you want to be made whole? And the Lord healed him. He does not need to fall into the pool again. If the water is a dirty one, it does not need to rub his body in it. But because God himself has come, he said to him, take your bed and go home. You are made whole. And his body was restored to him. I want us to talk to the Lord this afternoon. 
the Lord paid me visit. What do you want the Lord to visit you for? Is he on increase? Ask him this afternoon. Say, Lord, let there be a divine visitation to my home. A divine visitation to my life. In the name of Jesus. I want you to talk to him. If it is visitation that the Lord should open your womb, talk to him. The Lord, let there be a divine visitation in my home. As you visited Zechariah, as you visited Abraham, Lord, let there be a divine visitation in my life. Lord, let there be a visita divine visitation in my business. In the name of Jesus, talk to him. Talk to him. But don't let there be a divine visitation in my home. Let there, let there be a divine visitation in my business. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Talk to him this afternoon if it is health challenges. Lord, let there be a divine visitation on my head. That everything will be turned around for good for me. Lord, let there be a divine visitation. Touch me again, Lord. Touch me and heal my illness in the name of Jesus. Talk to him. Father, let there be a divine visitation. Visit me afresh. Visit me. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to talk to him. Father, let there be a divine visitation. To reverse the irreversible, what man has given up on concerning my life, concerning my ministry. Father, let there be a divine visitation. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Father, let there be a divine visitation and reverse the irreversible. Father, let there be a divine visitation and turn things around in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a divine visitation concerning my home, concerning my life, and let there be a reverse. There will be a divine intervention, divine visitation that reverses the irreversible in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. I want you to talk to him. We said, when God visits, Visit with blessing and increase. I want you to talk to him. Lord, let there be a divine visitation of your blessing in my life. Let there be a divine visitation of your favor in my life. Let there be a divine visitation of your increase in my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Father, let there be a divine visitation of your blessing in my life. Let there be a divine visitation of your increase in my life, in my home. In the name of Jesus. Talk to him. Divine visitation of your blessing. Of increase. Of favor. In my life, in my home. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lastly, I want you to talk to him. Father, open my eyes to see, to be able to discern the people which you have sent to me in the name of Jesus. Lord, open my eyes to see and, and the divine discernment to be able to differentiate the people you have sent to me and ordinary ones in the name of Jesus. Lord, open my heart to see, to be able to discern those people whom you have sent to me in the name of Jesus.
For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to pray for our country. Lord, let there be a divine visitation in our country. That things will turn around for good. Lord, let there be a divine visitation. That things will turn around for good upon this country in the name of Jesus. Your divine visitation, let it come upon our country. That things will turn around for good. That the heart of men will turn to the path of righteousness. That the heart of men will turn to the path of justice and equity. In the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a divine visitation upon our country. That the heart of men will turn to the path of righteousness. The path of justice. The path of equity. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Our righteous Father, we thank you for your blessing this afternoon. We bless you, Lord, for the word which you have sent to us. And we have known fully well in your word that when you visit, you visit with your blessing. When you visit, you reverse the irreversible. When you visit, there will be an increase in the life of such person. When you visit, oh Lord, you turn things around. When you visit, you make way where it seems to be no way. Father, we ask that you are going to visit us, visit our home, visit our blessing, our, our, our business with your blessing and increase in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you are going to visit everyone who is looking to talk to you for the foot of the womb. You open their home with your power in the name of Jesus. Father, that this time next year, we will rejoice together with them in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you are going to visit our country. The heart of men will return to the path of righteousness and justice in the name of Jesus. That the men will, every man in this country, both old and young, will fear you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for our church that your presence will always be in our midst in the name of Jesus. Whenever we gather together in your name, we always see your power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon to you all.